moment, no idea, but I have some idea, thanks to the power of the internet. Hey, there's a butterfly. I, 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 I'm a little butterfly. Oh. Well, okay. Oh. Down the stairs, what? Oh, shit. Where's my flesh lake? Hey. Oh, God. Okay, that actually makes it worse. Down the stairs, watch your something don't fall apart or something. Around a corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open too if you see beyond its looks. Your riddle sucks. Gonna use my microphone. Alright, ghosts, hit me. Or not, that's, that's fine. I had no idea a butterfly was just gonna show up. Oh shit. Oh shit. 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 Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Every cuss word we could think of. We got snow. Why do we have snow? At least I hope that's snow. If it's asbestos somewhere. Oh. Wait, wait. Interesting. This is where Mama kept her secret sex dungeon, huh? Okay, this is not interactable. This is. This is where we kept your other sister that you never knew about. Retard. What? Oh shit! Shit! Oh, shit! Found the mystery decorations. Yeah. Uh, no, I found no. retard written on the board. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I. It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. They, Irving, you there? They drew uh, the course, decorations. Yeah. Uh, what? Bedroom. T tell me what you see. Okay. I. Uh, there's some windows drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet music. A pink bed. It's like a kid's room. No way. No one would live down here. Why not? I mean, they got this great view. Half the books are drawn on the wall. No one would live down here. Nicole, Nikki, I think you should get out of there now. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to. Jesus Christ, Irvin. This is not a code what? red. This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room, a, a replica. Is this where Rachel is? You don't know that. You can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. I've got one of my hands on my red button too. But I need two hands to play. So if this is if this room everything about it reminds you of her, are you saying Rachel was fake? Because that window is drawn on. That cross. That bookshelf. Etc. It's all fake. It's like some shitty Truman Show thing. Coconut. And maybe she was... No. I, they didn't say anything about her having any mental disabilities. Rachel's book. Teach me to talk. The Speech Therapy Manual. Hmm. The Speech Therapy Department of Montana. Nobody knows speech therapy like Montana. 
made it a retainer box. As in, like, teeth retainers? Yeah. Did you get out of there? No. You know by any chance if Rachel wore a retainer? Uh, maybe. I didn't uh, know it's a retainer box. This thing they hadn't found it at the site of the suicide. I remember. She always made a horrible noise when she clipped it onto her palate with her tongue. Yeah, that. What does Rachel's retainer have to do with anything? I found a box. It could be hers. Why should someone keep a ten-year-old retainer? Maybe they're not just keeping it. Maybe they're using it. The box is empty. No way. I, I can't. Let me go on. I use it to store my thumbtacks. Oh, I low keyed a uh, breadcrumb. It's a fancy skeleton key, huh? Okay, I'll take that. Hey, can you hear me? No. Yes. Yes. We have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No. I found a key. It's from my old music box. The one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want oh, to know. The music what I box. think someone could have been in your room. I mean, we were gone for like 10 years or something. It doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. Can't argue with that logic. Oh god, not the- Yes. Nicole, listen. I already know what you're gonna say, but please trust me. Get out of there. Fuck you. Quit telling me what to do. Please, you're not helping. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a, more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this... We'll figure it out with the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen. A bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for ten years, and now this! All good reasons to get out of there. None of it's that weird. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? Wrong. I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. I haven't looked every if inch, it's no. true, you realize what that means? Yes, I'm crazy. What? What are you trying to tell me? I'm, I'm the culprit. Your father, he spent years in there, in total solitude, with the weight of his family and Rachel on his conscience. He, he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. Oh, yeah. You're joking, right? You think he did this? Why so upset? Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes... How dare you? My... My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying... Is upsetting leave you? Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old, but f fucking hell, don't you dare even think that. I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Uh... We got an underground shrine for dead person. Your father had changed in the end. We're standing in it. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him, and I'm telling you. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that if you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. Baby, please, please, let's talk this out. In bed. That, that relationship has gone south really fast. Is it just me, or did it get darker? Maybe it's just me. I wonder if maybe they were trying to resurrect uh, Rachel. Is that is that a possibility? Hmm. That's a teddy bear. It's a girl. 
So she said the key was to the music, like, like her music box. So would that be in her room? Back up on the... Let's see what these other books are. Sleeping Beauty. Classic. Long ago there lived a king and queen who said every day, if only we had a child, but for a long time they had none. For the king was shooting blinks, and the queen was dry as a desert. One day as the queen was bathing in a spring and dreaming of a child, a frog crept out of the water and, knew, and said to her, Your wish shall be fulfilled. For years past you shall bring a daughter into the world, and it shall wreck your vagina. It'll never look the same again, and you shall loathe your child. Snow White. Once upon a time, long, long ago, a king and queen ruled over a distant land. Not related. The queen was kind and lovely, and all the people of the realm adored her. The only sadness in the queen's life was that she wished for a child, but did not have one. It's like the same plot to the other book. I don't remember these stories, the Disney classics. Not a Disney guy. One winter day, the queen was doing needlework while gazing out her ebony window in a new fall at the new fallen snow. A bird flew by the windows. That wasn't me. That was probably you. A bird flew by the window, startling the queen. As she pricked her finger, a single drop of blood fell on the snow outside her window. As she looked at the blood on the snow, she said to herself, Oh, how I wish that I had a daughter that had skin as white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as black as ebony. That's a stupid wish. I'm supposed to have hair white or silvery like, like, like the moonlight. Starlight power. I don't know why I'm reading all these, but I'm having fun. Little Red Riding Hood. Now that's a classic. Once upon a time, there lived in a certain village a little country girl, the prettiest creature who was ever seen. Her mother was excessively fond of her, and her grandmother dotted on her still more. This good woman had a little Red Riding Hood made for her. It suited the girl so extremely well that everybody called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother, having made some cakes, said to her, Go, my dear, and see how your grandmother is doing, for I hear she's been very ill. Take her a cake and this little pot of butter. Little Red Riding Hood set out immediately to go to her grandmother, who lived in another village. Hmm. No mention of the wolf, huh? Look here, little daughter. Just, just take all this yummy food and walk through the forest. Sounds like Mama was trying to get rid of her problems. Good old Rapunzel. Once upon a time, there was a man and his wife. They had wanted a child for a long time, but had never had one. One day, a miracle happened, and the woman gave her husband the news that they both had so long wished for. They were going to have a baby. The man and his wife lived in a house with a small window in the kitchen overlooking a beautiful garden full of fresh vegetables and flowers. Unfortunately, there was a high wall of barbed wire all around it, and no one ever entered it because it belonged to a mighty witch, who everyone was terrified of. I don't know, those synopses don't feel like they would be selling a lot of copies. You gotta put, not necessarily spoilers, but, but, but use the microphone. Alright, let's get back. Uh, Asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Oh, she's so upset. Finally, a bit of peace and quiet. He'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay. Let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. Some people think she didn't commit suicide, and some even think she's still alive. Maybe resurrected. Concentrate. I have to think it through. What concrete clues did I find? First thing, the phone call. 
They said Rachel isn't dead. Then the lipstick from 10 years ago turns up still good. And then my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. And now I find her retainer box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. Oh, no shit. But if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide, no Timberline money. No, 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 I'm just being paranoid. And then there'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking underground replica of her room. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff. Is it a message? Yeah, breadcrumbs. Where do I fit in? Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? My music box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. The hockey player. But I must. I really hope that music box is in a room. The key I found belongs to the music box in Leonard's room. I'm going to open it. Open it, open it, open it. So I think that is in our room up, up on the first floor. One right next to her her room. I'm going to keep this out in case we get to hear some spooky noises. Come on, ghosts. Scare me. I'm the Krosos. I demand you make me pee myself. Just a little. So far, everyone has failed. Everyone who has attempted has failed. Kind of like the agents from... Like the Matrix. Everyone who has tried has failed. But I heard cool spooky noises from out there. Now, disappointed. Ever have those moments where it's just like you should stop talking, but you can't stop? Having a dildo microphone shoved up in your face kind of does that to you. All right, my room was that away. And then that away. And then that away. Now, his room, I think, is this first door right here. That away. There it is. Oh, -ho. Is that a re oh, I thought that was a retainer. I'm like, don't touch that. The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Masula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage, that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? And you and Mom started fighting. Voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with the suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Mom's car stays here and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? Day nine. So I'm not entirely sure who Leonard is exactly, but it sounds like whatever achievement they accomplished was on the same at the same time, roughly, as the suicide that happened. 
Maybe it was her brother? It put me right here. Irving. Finally. I'm okay. I'm okay. I was dying on this chair. Good. <laughs> Sounds like you failed. You're right. That room freaked me out. So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of the story, then it's got to be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know. I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Maybe it's my father. Maybe. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel oh. died. She Dad won. could have put it there. And if he did, there must be a reason. It... It all sounds insane. She's not Leonard. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Oof. Church. That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. Mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. Hmm. I have no idea what a mezzanine is, but... It did just say it's above the reception. And I happen to know where it is. With any luck, I'll figure out how to get there. How's the storm out there? Looks like it's coming down. Yeah. She's never getting out of here alive. It's gonna be snowed in. We will become at one with the mountain. I'm just curious, have I looked at whatever this is? No, it's nothing. Never mind. Alright, reception, where are you? Well, let's go to the main floor first, I guess. From there we'll find it. I think we're above the reception right now. We just double check. Uh, taking a sneak peek. Yep, that looks like reception to me. So, what does the map say about it? Better take a look in the mezzanine in the middle. In the middle, the better things find their proper position. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, ash tree. You know, if you have a hotel, because we saw on that map thing, that diagram, it's basically right next to a mountain out really far from civilization. This place is made out of wood. Carpeting and, and just flammable materials, everything. This, this is all one giant piece of kindling. Uh, if there was a fire to break out, I doubt the fire department could make it the 40 miles or however much minimum it is to get here. I would think not promoting smoking would be in your best interest for your business. Hello, Nuff. I'm Necrosis. And those are mannequins. I should go say hi. Hello there, ladies. I uh, can't help but notice you're touching yourself. Do you need some help? I have two hands to spare. My nickname in college was Grabby. I play a lot of gra grab ass. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you don't even have any arms or head. 
That's the one oddball in the group. So wait, hold on. What is the scene? Wait, what are we looking at? Uh, it's almost as if they're dancing or celebrating. Not nothing specific. It's just the guys on stage. You have someone with a hockey puck about to beat the shit out of somebody and their baby. Better report this. Oh, you made a world, huh? Irving. Cool. Hello? Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine, and it's a nightmare. This isn't a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. The, the, there's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick. If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, yeah, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed. But why my hockey stick? Because it'll make it Hello? look like it was you that did Hello? it. Duh. Oh, God, why isn't he answering? Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. Honestly, put it up on the committee lip. The hell was that noise? It's probably the wind. I just want to, like... Go through a thrift store, just grab like a whole bunch of women's clothes and like start playing dress up. I don't know why. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Mannequins. Now with butt cheeks. What does our map say? Nothing. Excellent. Why is my f frame rate feeling so. Oh, I knocked your arm off. Sorry about that. Um, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll fix it for you later. Are we just leaving? I have no idea. Where are you, Nicole? <sighs> it's about I'm in time. the same hotel I've been in the whole goddamn time. For the last, what, nine, nine days? Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? Was it, I wasn't counting. What? Are you... are you drunk? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving? I ain't doing anything he wants me to do with that tone. Bitch needs to check his fucking edit. Oh, God. No, I've got no ring. I only rang once, what? Well, sounded like it came from the reception. We ventured into the concepts of optimization of worlds. There's a whole lot of... I don't know how much I even remember at this point since I haven't been... What the hell rang? Something... This was not here before. What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. This is new. I would have... I would have recognized this because I would have made fun of FedEx or UPS or something for... Taking this fragile box that clearly shows which side is supposed to go up. Or wait, or is that if that's supposed to represent the bottom? But then this, why would they write this upside down? Either way, this was not here before. Was it a telephone? We heard one ring. Ah, uh, you guys remember these, right? Yellow pages? They had only one function. You would use them to, to put under your monitor to raise it, your computer monitors. I used to have two that I would use back in Chicago to get my thing up to a comfortable eye level. So they didn't really tell me where to go. And the only place we haven't really did a whole lot of exploring was maybe the ballroom? Welcome to the beginning of your adventure! Unless there was a door back with the mannequins, but I don't think so. 
reason being... It triggered a call while we were out there. Rang something and then... Wait. Oh, you can see him doing like a... He's trying to kick this poor girl. Classic move. When you hold them by the hand, it prevents them from escaping your attack radius. Now, we heard something crash, and it was back that way. Check. Check. making feedback. If these doors don't work, they do make some noises, do. Okay, nothing there. Hmm. Might just be something out here. Right, that away. We were up there and it made a noise. It sounded as if it came down here, like a ding or a ring or something along those lines. Maybe from his office. voicemails or anything, so that's not a thing. Is there a door I haven't opened? Fuck if I know. Well, I don't see anything here, so... Let me double check the mannequin room. Maybe it's something up. What I was hearing maybe wasn't down, but up. But let me just come in here really quick. To, just because, you know, I get to say hi to these ladies again. Hello, ladies. A lady. A lady. A armless lady. Headless ma'am. Is there any kind of... Passage. There is not. Okay. Now we know. Kind of interesting, the, the various secret rooms and stuff. I'm finding it kind of cool the way they would have had this. I think it sucks not knowing where to find it, but... I can... So it's not this telephone. It appears the line was cut at some point, too. Or it's just connecting into the wall over there. I don't know. I don't know. Instructions non existent. Um, I guess let's go check our room really quick. And then maybe come back up here and try going further up. I, I don't I don't know. Just double checking each door just to be just to be sure. Is that a frog? Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> just to be uh Clear. That was a noise. Toilet's still in operation. Drugs. Last will and testament. I'm just trying to see if anything happens to show like report 
or otherwise trigger. Could just be I'm supposed to walk around until it triggers a phone call or something. I don't really know. But I don't see. Wait, this is this is just the beginning, lousy pedophile. Beware! Shutting yourself into your gross den between mountains will not protect you. You will pay for what you have done. This seems new. Slander. <laughs> Does that really count as slander, though? I mean, he did get a 16-year-old pregnant that... What is this? Oh. Joystick. Nope. Doesn't seem like there's shit here, so... I could go out that way, though, if I wanted. Now, nah, let's go this way instead. I'll go back and I'm gonna go up. One floor. We're gonna see if anything is going on on the second floor. Let's see, let's double check here too while we're at it. This was the... Oh, this is not where I was thinking. Oh yeah, it's still... Uh... Damn, that snow is getting kind of high, isn't it? Feels like. I wonder if there's another secret room on the staircase. Another set of staircases. A lot of noises, at least. There's n There's been absolutely no boo. Kind of thing. It's just very subtle things, and that's kind of cool. Our telephone don't work, and we still don't have the key to that. Uh, it was over here, right? Let's check and make sure none of these other doors happen to be openable. I don't know why I'm not just looking it up. I think we're... Oh. Was the noise the chain padlock thing falling down? Oh, that's one problem solved. Oh, yeah. Better pull out my spy gear. Whoa. No sign of ghosts. Under construction. It's automotive parts and stuff. I'm not a I'm not a gearhead, so I'm not. Oh, there's Hello? some cool shit. I imagine you found my room. What? I did. What does all this mean? That's a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory, painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo, a hairband, a lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. I mean, you could have just reminded her. I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. So that was the choice you made, right? What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. No, that's mold. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You, Jenkins. You, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. 
You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Me? Yeah, I'm super important. I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I... We did it for years. Day after day after day. All lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. About fucking time. Who are you, really? I want to tell you a story. Well, hurry up. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. But his father... Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His wonderful sister. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. That's what they called her at school. Well, she was dyslexic. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her. But I couldn't. Just go beat everyone up at school. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her for real. My dad. A grown adult male? Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love was too much. And it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was... your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. I mean, he did say he was invisible. I didn't hate your sister. I was just jealous. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? <laughs> I was raised. He's got to a forgettable forgot. face. What do you want from me? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you. We all got frozen there in that very moment. In that confined horizon of events as you'll understand as you've already begun to understand Wait. I want to know what you want from me you have to keep going to get to where I wasn't able to go you will be the new witness you owe it to us and you owe it to her. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with that. I mean, if there's a story, I wanna, I wanna see it. So there's some interesting shit down here. So this amplitude, frequency, and phase elements of a radio wave. I don't really know what this would mean, but it says this should work. It's got some kind of oscilloscope, I think. I think that's just a battery charger. 
But then here, there's... I couldn't really see it very well. But, I, like, it looks like some kind of transmission system. Visual aural radio range, short range radio aid to navigate, which furnishes, furnishes definite vision. Uh, range system? I don't know. It's too hard to read it. Line of sight transmission. Easy. Probably synthesizers. This guy was making like industrial music up here. Now here, I don't know what's going on. I see probably days being counted like a like a prisoner might. Ooh, is this oh empty? Fuck. Ghost sightings. Who is this? Is this us? Is that Rachel? Coordinates? 1987. So, just recorded ghost sightings? That one's nice. Nicole's data. I can't click on any of it, though. She did graduate high school. Then she got prego. Dodge document Nicole's favorite car. He got her a Dodge. A Dodge is Nicole's favorite car, guys. But then when she found out he bought the wrong color, she went and jumped off of a cliff. Ah, what a waste. If only you bought the right color for her sweet 16 instead of getting her pregnant. Sweet 16. Okay, so there's more there. What's over here? Red. There's a lot of red here. He developed film here. There's a ghost in that car. Nothing there. Nothing. And it's a photo of that cloned room, I think, because that looks like it's the drawn-on variant. Whatever. Let's keep going. I ain't got all day. It's not a good place to take a bath. Very frigid. Like, I, I, why must something so simple be such an obstacle? I mean, video game logic. I don't know why I'm moaning about that, but it's one of those like weird pet peeve type things. It's essential that any circuit not in use is fitted with blank sheet. Yeah, and you should draw little bunnies on them. Kids love that. Those windows are trippy. <laughs> it looks like they're all on an angle. I don't know. Hey, we found the attic, aka his man cave. See, this box is correctly aligned. projector just yet. Let's take a look around. We got oh, skis at the... They were paddles for a moment. Just getting everything, because I think we're near the end of the game at this point. So, any last Leonard's thoughts? I can't click on it, though. Huh. Seems to be a lot of, like, can't click on things... As if this last part was maybe rushed? Thinking through mechanics. Are these all the same book? Oh, that's... Yeah. It's upstairs? Yeah, I guess so. Alright, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Rachel... That's when she achieved Zen. Alright, projector time. Oh, there's a key. Can I take it? I... Something weird going on here. I can't seem to take it. Maybe after I use the projector I can? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Hey! Movie time! A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. 
I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? I'm terrible, thank you. You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied. We listened. We listened to her. Ooh, Rachel? All the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Hypothesis. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? In the air about? we breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, and those who can't Why recognize it. Why keep showing it? us these same pictures? Stars still emanate their light, even after collapsing, right? There is a lot of light here. There is light. In death. Yeah, but that's light from the past. I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo. So, how are you, Nikki? Bored. I'm good. I will be good. How good will you be? Figure out what Rachel was saying, Nikki. She's here. Is she now? So what he's, I think, like, it's the second time we've heard a reference to, like, a burnt out star still producing light. What I think that's hinting off of is the sheer distance between, let's say, Earth and whatever star you might be looking at. That you're essentially looking at light from the past because it takes so many light years for the photon to reach us that it, you could be staring at a star that's like millions or billions of years old and it's not even there anymore. It's just the light that it has ever admitted is still traveling to us. <clears throat> Images of the past. So when you look in the sky, you're pretty much looking at the past in that regard. So what you're seeing is not accurate to what it is, and that's kind of where, like, relativity and things start to come into play. Murder. Oh, who do I have to murder? Just point me at the thing you want dead. Wait, maybe I can take this key now? Hey, look at that. Claire. Wait. Claire? Who's Claire? I don't know who Claire is. Do I? Hmm. Yep, that's a typewriter. And yeah, now everything is clickable, so I take back what I was talking about earlier. Hey, Rachel had nipples. to thunk it. Alright, so where in the fuck is this Claire's room? Cause I don't remember any door that specifically caught my eye. So 
I was Claire. And I had a lock on a door somewhere. I'm assuming it's a door. It could be like a box or something. Have I used any of these yet? No. So it looks like there was some cool investigations going on here, but I guess we don't get to really enjoy it. Especially whatever this is. What is going on here exactly? What was he doing with it? I'm really curious. Maybe this is clip no. Maybe this is no. Nope. Yeah, there's Inside Claire's car. I wonder if Claire was the mum with the Volkswagen Beetle or, or, or whatever that was. Hey, it's one of those smart hotels. Watch your fingers. Staff only. I own this place. I am staff. Oh. Hello. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. Nah. I knew my father's soul. Like a Mormon? Better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't... I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Yeah. Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. Yeah, we had to eat you're beans. Different when you got here. In confined spaces. Now you can discover the truth. A truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen, I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her, and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Maybe better than anyone. Not better than her. Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? I'm guessing be over soon. 15 minutes. What else is there to know? Still not a watch. You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that uh. mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us. And you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. So I'm the sum of that. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me, too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. Roger that. It's not art. It's it just no. Okay, garage is where. Still, we gotta go down. Where the fuck was the staircase over this way? How are they going to wrap this up? I'm still kind of confused as to the sequence of events and what actually happened, but... I kind of want to play with the mannequins some more. Ladies, I'll see you after the stream. I have better games for that, actually. At. I think garage was this way. I hope. Yep, it is. Oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait to see what happens. The suspense is killing us. Oh, is this one of those cars where the engine's in the back and the front is the trunk? Better grab my 
actually. Uh, that's a pretty small trunk. Well, I guess you have to have room for your feet. Imagine if there was a hole cut right here, so you could like kick your feet up into the trunk while you. Oh well, then you can't operate the pedals. Okay, so what we got was, well, nothing. What's in this blanket? Wash it. Oh, wash it to the laundry. Uh, wait, wait, wait. The laundry room is next to the boiler room. Right now we're. Okay, so leave the garage and make a lot of rights for a while, and then eventually you'll left. See, I'm getting the hang of this. Too bad the game's almost over, but making a lot of rights for a bit. Uh, but now enter the boiler room and go left. Hey, yep. is this new? Just observe. I'm looking for any last tidbits of anything. So finally, the laundromat comes into play. I don't know how to wash stuff, though. I just buy new shirts every time. And, I mean, why we use the sink? We could just use the washing machine. We got power, we got running water. Some high quality uh, washing action going on here. You don't even have one. Oh. Oh. Her retainer was in it. We should wash that too. Oh, God. How could I have forgotten? Forgotten what? I. I saw everything. You were the one that pushed her, weren't you? I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. Hmm. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend and he'd come with his whole family. You and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. And then... She put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She'd cleaned it. Go on. No. I... I Go don't. on. Go on. We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... Fucking say it. 
left. Say something. <laughs> the truth. I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk rolled in the blanket gun. Oh my god. She killed Rachel. Mission accomplished. Oh. Achievement unlocked. Thank you, Nikki. So Claire killed Rachel. I'm assuming Claire was the mother? I'm kind of blanking on these names. You've had your revenge. I hope <clears throat> all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. Plus, she never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Well, I mean, she committed a pretty big crime. Is... Is here? No, she's supposed to be dead. You know, I... I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now... We can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen... We can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. Not us. Not yet. We are still Not alive. Yet, We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. You were kids. What the hell could you have done? Hmm? It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but... <laughs> I never thought it was so beautiful. Where are you? What? I'm guessing Irving, that cliff. Where are you? It's wide as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountains. You... You left the hotel? But... It's too cold. You'll... You'll die out there. Irving, please. It's okay, I brought a jacket. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can... and go back... to her. Don't... don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me, too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my... tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again. In another time. Beyond this... Horizon of events. Everything is. Irving? Irving? I, I don't want to stay alone here. I. I. Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. It's okay, we have a flashlight. I'm, don't you worry your pretty oh, head. There. Rachel? Is that you? Yeah, it's Rachel, your dead dead friend that you hate. Oh. Oh. Now what? Are you Oh, goody. More stuff. Oh. Oh, God. Why did we take the retainer with us? Are you going to answer that? Yes? Nicole, it's me, Jenkins, the attorney. Finally, I can get through. You don't know how many times I've tried. I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. You're sure you... Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? 
damned interference. I didn't catch you. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. Oh, oh, well, I see. Well, you're the owner, and you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. This kind of decision... I'm back home. And I have to stay here. Forever. Forever, ever. Wait a sec, let's talk. And there's also my fee. Fuck your fees. Damn lawyers or whatever the hell he was. You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. But they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us? What do you think? It would be so nice to be all together. Mom, Dad, it would be so nice. Wait, wait, I did all that you asked me. Am I supposed to be using stuff or do I have alternative options? I don't know. Doesn't seem like okay, just stop it, please. Anger shouldn't rule our life. You said that. I'm scared. Is she arguing with the voices in her head? You I I don't want to die. Oh, I see what she's doing. Dark. <coughs> I can't see. Carbon Why? monoxide starts the brain of oxygen. <coughs> oh, I have the option of turning it off. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Finish what you've started. We're committed. So wasted. Whoa. The suicide of Rachel Foster. Okay, so it's written and directed by one guy. Separate producer, one guy. Technical director. So there was at least three people, two programmers, producers, graphics people. I'm curious if the graphics are original or assets, because visually the game looked pretty damn nice, but depending on where they came from or if they were made, it didn't really have an effect on the idea of how, how to think about it. Uh, and I can't continue anymore, so it looks as if there must be multiple endings. Just on that last scene alone, I had the option of turning the car off. I opted to keep it running. I wonder how the other choices in throughout the whole game if that also affects the development maybe it twists things differently gives you different information i don't know i'm not the type that will replay it just to find out overall i like this there's one major flaw i'll start with and that is 
the sort of flow of direction. There were several points in the game where it just did not do a good job of giving you information on an objective. Not necessarily a full-on spell-it-out kind of way, it was just it told you absolutely nothing, so you had absolutely no idea what to do. And for a walking simulator, it definitely sucks not knowing where to go for the next event to continue the story. That's kind of the entire game is go from point A to point B or go from event A to event B, etc. So those sucked. I had to look up a couple times and I'm not the only one that hit problems there. That's really about the only bad thing I have to say. The story is kind of confusing to me a little bit. I don't know if there's more to it that you need to do the other options to understand, or I, I really don't know. Lengthwise, it took us over five hours, it looks like. I was expecting three to four hours, but I guess we got stuck a little too much, and I was spending too much time goofing off and having fun. But fun is good. The voice acting is probably the most commendable part. Uh, the voice acting was just really good. I'm really surprised we don't, like, usually see very uh, quality voice acting in these types of indie games so kudos to that visually it looked good the horror was obviously very light it's a horror light so to speak and i think they did it really well there were no jump scares there was no like monsters or like you never actually saw ghosts or anything but it had enough of those elements it would just play sound effects that sounded like they were coming from behind you or on the other side of a door. There was the little part with the ghost hunters, the video thing. That was really cool as well. So it delivered surprisingly well for a light tone of horror. It wasn't the focus, and they kind of maintained it throughout the whole thing, which is pretty cool. And I'd say well done. Uh, the length feels a bit long, but at the same time, not too bad. The pacing felt a little bit slow in the beginning, but it really wasn't too bad. If they could just iron out the objective system in some way and key parts, it would definitely help. Other than that, that's all I have to say. It was pretty good. For a walking simulator, it's it holds its own. <laughs>